Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Rishabh Jain and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll talk about how to study anatomy for NEET PG or your INICT examinations. So anatomy is a very important subject as far as uh, your PG preparation is considered because more than 15 questions, around 16 to 17 questions usually come from come from anatomy uh, in the PG, PG paper, both in INICT as well as NEET PG and so uh, around 8% of your PG paper will con will be constituted by anatomy. So, in my opinion, it is a major subject and it is a unique subject because in which you have to put in a little effort because it is a relatively tougher subject. I agree on that. It is a weaker subject for most of the people because anatomy, we have read it in the first year. It has been around five years when we laughed at anatomy. And the third point is that it is very vast. So, it is difficult to remember anatomy and hence, uh, people do struggle in anatomy. I was uh, particular uh, well in anatomy because I had read anatomy very well in first year. And so it was one of my strong subjects to start with. But uh, uh, the good thing about anatomy is that it is very scoring. So if you read anatomy well for your PG preparations, out of the 16, 17 questions, you will definitely get around 12 to 13 questions definitely correct. So it is a very important scoring subject. So in this video, I have divided the, your anatomy preparation for NEET PG into three parts. Uh, what should be your study uh, strategy for anatomy? What are the good resources as far as anatomy is considered? And how to distill all those, uh, all that knowledge from your various sources into a final crisp high yielding revision? Because as we all know, PG preparation is a game of revision and ultimately it boils down to whether you have a, you are able to revise all the 19 subjects in the last 10 days. We have talked about uh, it in a lot of uh, videos and I think this is something that should be cemented in your mind. So let's start. So a brief introduction about me. Uh, I am currently a senior resident in the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Ames New Delhi and uh, I secured an uh, All India Rank 4 in uh, Ames PG July 2018 and a Rank 11 in PJ Chandigarh. July 2018. I subsequently did my MD data diagnosis from PGI Chandigarh and I am a 2012 batch Amesonian from Ames New Delhi. So uh, first, why you should study anatomy? I've already discussed because it's a very scoring subject. Uh, your effort is equal to your outcome. So uh, the amount of effort that you put in anatomy, you will be able to answer a lot of questions uh, from anatomy. Uh, the third important point is that anatomy although is a very vast subject but there are some typical important and favorite topics which are repeatedly being asked over the years in anatomy and so if you just focus on those important uh, topics you will be able to answer most of the questions so uh, what should be so in the study strategy what should be your timeline to divide to allot to allocate a per to allocate time for anatomy so i am taking a six monthly window because most of you would be appearing for uh, the INICT that will be held in November or the NEED PG that is yet to happen in January next year. So the first reading according to me, if you're just starting reading now and active for the first time should be around two weeks. So you should be able to complete the first reading in two weeks or 15, 16 days. And I don't expect you to read 100% of anatomy, but even if you uh, read around 60 to 70% uh, anatomy in this first reading, your job is done. Then for the first revision, that, that is the second reading, I am considering it the first revision. Your first revision should be over in around four to five days, a week at max. Definitely not more than that. And the final revision just before your exam, I think it's prudent to give one day for an anatomy because it is a major subject. So what are the important topics in the study strategy? Uh, so head and neck is a very important uh, part of anatomy and you should dedicate most of your time reading uh, and understanding head and neck because it is something which is tough, which you will keep on forgetting again and again. And most of the questions are asked from head and neck and neuroanatomy. So uh, second is neuroanatomy. Third is embryology. Embryology, the good thing is about it is it is very scoring and it is easier to understand. And the last is histology. Histology is again very scoring and it requires you to put less effort and uh, results in, it results in more out, better outcome. And so uh, the next second, uh, we'll move on to the second topic now, what are the resources for anatomy? So whatever your resources are, are I'll discuss it uh, subsequently. Uh, your study strategy boils down to whether you are able to distill all uh, the information that you've gathered from these resources into a crisp high yielding notes 
which you can revise in the last one day because remember you have to revise anatomy in the last one day before exam it is a very volatile subject so in my opinion for this high dif uh, high yield distilled notebook that you can make for, for anatomy is uh, netter's atlas of anatomy i know a lot of people a lot of you would uh, say that it is not a small book and i agree the netter's book is around ye thick and uh, so what i did during my pg preparation was that uh, i had put in some uh, notes and clips of the selected pages which were important and so i'll discuss uh, how you can do that and which which pages are important so in my opinion if you make netters your uh, final high yield revision textbook there are two there are two advantages first is that you get to practice image based questions automatically because anatomy ke most of the questions that come are direct anat most of them are image based question and aajkal <clears> to <throat> नेटर से डायरेक्ट इमेजेस उठ के भी आती हैं सो इट इज़ अ गुड आइडिया दैट यू मेक दिस नोटबुक एज योर रिविजन नोटबुक एंड द सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट इन नेटर्स वन सिस्टम इज डन इज पहले एक सिस्टम कंप्लीट करते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर क्रेनियल नर्व पढ़ा रहे होंगे नेटर्स में तो क्रेनियल नर्व के बारे में ए टू जेड लगातार इमेजेस होंगी सो द कनेक्शन एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकम्स बेटर so what are the sources so in my opinion you should uh, annotate your sources and make netters your revision notebook so what are the sources now so i think uh, a lot of information is available regarding what are the sources and in my opinion also dr ashwini kumar and atmi videos uh, are a very good uh, a source for reading and understanding in atmi because the way ashwini sir teaches uh, he has a very different approach to anatomy and uh, he makes anatomy Uh, very easy to understand and remember uh, i had uh, during my time a uh, sir's uh, app was not available for during my pre pg preparation and so were uh, his youtube videos they were also not available and so i attended sir's uh, different discussion classes uh, in batia and uh, i can safely say that uh, whatever sir taught that i was able to revise at the end and that really helped me so i think dr ashwini kumar natmi was a very helpful and especially if you are someone who is weak in anatomy it will help you understand and build an approach to how to uh, remember anatomy so second uh, I, and i really like this uh, sources aklands video atlas of human anatomy so the good thing about it is, is that it shows real dissection in a 3d way so layering by layering it will keep on removing your structures and hence you will build a 3d understanding of the structure yeah, that you have difficulty in understanding so i would recommend you to at least watch uh, head and neck videos of aklands uh, atlas because head and neck in general is a tough subject and it is very well uh, given in uh, aklands so you can either purchase it online or uh, like there are free videos all uh, all it all so available on the internet you can find them on telegram you can ask some of your seniors you can uh, dm me i can send you i have some videos of aklands I had uh, purchased its subscription back uh, during my BBS, and uh, I think it is a very good source, especially for first-year students. They should uh, it will really help them understand a 3D uh, model of anatomy and the structures within, and also for uh, weaker sub weaker topics that you uh, are struggling in your NEET PG preparation. So another very good book that I would recommend for uh, anatomy is this uh, Across series. Uh, it is a comprehensive review of short subjects and. I read anatomy personally from across, and uh, the the good thing about across uh, anatomy is that uh, the anatomy here is given uh, in approximately this thick, this thick pages. So your whole anatomy, embryology, neuroanatomy, histology will be covered, and uh, it is given in a tabulated form. So for example, if it uh, if it is talking about <coughs> nerves of the upper limb, so in half a page in one table. He'll discuss everything about the nerves of the upper limb. So it really helps you to revise faster and build that connections in your mind. Ki thik hai, ye nerve yahan yahan hai. Iske baare mein saari saari chizein ek hi saath deti hain. So another uh, good book that a lot of people read, uh, also Aditya also read Arvind Rora is a basic subject uh, self assessment and review of basic subject anatomy. So this is by Dr. Arvind Arvind Rora and. 
he is now a faculty uh, in an academy i recently saw one of his videos and uh, this is a very good uh, book and it is a complete book on anatomy if you are someone who uh, is weak in anatomy and you want to uh, start anatomy from fresh so this is a very good book that you can start your anatomy from so yeah another important thing that i want to convey is that don't start reading bdc or grays anatomy now during your internship or post internship for preparing <coughs> anatomy for pg because that is not a prudent way that is a very low yielding chronic low yielding very high effort uh, method and uh, review books are pretty decent nowadays as compared to anatomy and you should definitely go them and not uh, 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 start reading from a standard textbook obviously uh, you have to practice previous year questions and <coughs> you can use any source of previous year question whether uh, your question banks uh, now a lot of previous year questions are available on youtube you can use uh, app based uh, learning whether it is emedicos gurukul maro prepreta whatever and the tnd i think you should definitely attend an atme tnd because it uh, really boils down your whole pg whole anatomy preparation into some important topics i attended dr ashwini's uh, tnd in bharti and that is a really good tnd if you want my personal opinion from it so uh, so this is the part of resources so now how to distill these resources into <coughs> this high yield uh, crisp notebook of netters so uh, i'll show you how i did it if you like it you can follow it so you can follow similarly so what i did was for example head and neck was mostly asked uh, in our pg exams and i knew it by seeing the previous question so uh, for example i am reading trigeminal nerve because this is the longest and the hardest cranial nerve to remember so what i did was i annotated everything regarding trigeminal nerve its branches its parasympathetic supply its gang its uh, its important ganglia how their connections are <coughs> between different nerves for that ganglia is con- is made into the single page so uh, i'll show you how it is so when it's describing trigeminal nerve it starts by describing its nucleus so uh, in the same image you get to see which all nuclei this trigeminal nerve is located is related to in the brain stem then <coughs> lower down uh, it also in the same image at a glance you can see what all are the branches of trigeminal nerve you don't need to remember you don't need to make separate notes you just see this image and like annotate within this image so for example jo jo nerves reh gayi thi inki detail branches nahi de rakhi thi maine isi page mein alag se unko annotate kar liya for example nerves le rakhi alag koi aur branch hoti hai to i wrote it like primal nerve ke alag branch hoti hai to i wrote it for the branches सिमिलरली सुपीरियर एलवल नर्व की और ब्रांचेस जो होती हैं आई रोट इट एंड सो मैंडबुलर नर्व के क्या क्या डिविजन्स थे आई रोट इट के एंटी डिविजन पोस्टर डिविजन से क्या क्या नर्व निकलती है सो इन अटशल वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट दिस वन पेज ऑफ योर नेटर्स एटलेस विल बी योर गो टू पेज फॉर रीडिंग अबाउट ट्राइजिमिनल नर्व इट विल हैव एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम योर अनाटमी ब्रांचेस न्यूक्लियस पैरासिम्पेथेटिक सप्लाई to various ganglions as well as your muscles of mastication which all <coughs> nerve supplies which muscles so it becomes a very high yield low time consuming revision another uh, in the same way uh, what i did was so for example i have i had very difficult time in remembering which all nuclei which nerve is related to and what their functions are so netters again give you that give you that uh, diagram in which all the uh, cranial nerve nuclei are pictorially depicted into the brain stem so for example if i am talking about trigeminal nerve so trigeminal nerve ka motor nucleus of trigeminal nerve is like annotated here and usi ke aage then i wrote it ki ye special visceral efferent hai, hai and it supplies and it is responsible for uh, movement of mandible and muscles of mastication so <coughs> in this way you can like really annotate and uh, make your netters notebook high yielding so for example uh, i'm if i'm talking about facial nerve so facial nerve ka genicular ganglia i uh, wrote it ki it is related to uh, 
स्पेशल विस्ट्रल इफ्रेंड वाई इट्स मोटर मोटर न्यूक्लियस जनरल विस्ट्रल इफ्रेंड वाई इट्स सुपीरियर सिलाइवरी न्यूक्लियस एंड हेंस एंड हेंस फोर्थ सो इन दिस वे यू विल बी एबल टू हैव एन इमेज इन योर माइंड कि ओके दिस 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 आर द न्यूक्लियस दिस दिस एट दिस दिस प्लेस इन द ब्रेन फ्रेम एंड इसका ये फंक्शन है इसका ये फंक्शन है इसका ये फंक्शन है इससे ये नर रिलेटेड है इससे ये नर रिलेटेड है सो इट बिकम सो दैट होल फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स ऑफ क्रेनियल नर्व रीडिंग एंड रिविजन कम्स डाउन टू अराउंड थर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव मिनट टू वन आवर ऑफ होल क्रेनियल नर्व रिविजन एंड दैट इज अ वेरी वेरी हाई हील्ड रिविजन इन माई माइंड एंड सो सिमिलरली इफ आई एम रीडिंग लेट्स ए क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड एटमी ऑफ थैलमस सो दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन एक्जल क्रॉस सेक्शन इज फ्रीक्वेंटली आफ्ट एन एम्स पी जी सो आई एनोटेटेड एंड रोड द इम्पॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट आर आफ्ट लाइक दिस सिमिलरली हिपो कैम्पल सर्किट्स एंड फॉर्निशियल सर्किट्स वो समटाइम्स आफ एंड सो the whatever extra source that i have found from the review books i have just cut it and pasted it here similarly the fluoro fourth ventricle it was a very pet question during the pg question and so whatever extra thing that uh, for, for so for example <coughs> this medial eminence facial colliculus and medial eminence was frequently asked and so tum yahi par likh lo ki iske niche kya hai and iske niche kya hai so in a nutshell uh, similarly for muscles of mastication this was like a very pet question during our time and still is and this uh, this is give, given separately in netter because like this is such an important topic even in radiology it is important so this is given separately in netter and skill isse badhiya kuch hai nahi ki bas ye pad lo isi ke aage nik lik lo ki lateral pterygoid kaun kaun se movement karata hai medial pterygoid kaun kaun se movement karata hai uh, and you are done with muscles of mastication so to summarize in my opinion your first after your first during your first reading you should annotate your important uh, topics key information into netters gross anatomy neuro anatomy you can easily do in netters mark your important pages with clips and that becomes your go to source for revising your gross anatomy similarly this is true for other <coughs> systems of anatomy like upper limb lower limb एबडामिन चेस्ट एंड जो जो भी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हैं इन सब यूनिट्स में सो फॉर एम्ब्रियो आई थिंक गुड सोर्स ऑफ रिवाइजिंग इज अक्रॉस बिकॉज अक्रॉस में एम्ब्रियो बहुत छोटी एंड बहुत क्रिस्त रखी है एंड इसके साथ साथ यू कैन वॉच इमेज ऑफ लैंग मैन बिकॉज दो आर डायरेक्टली आस्क इन एम्स पी जी बिकॉज दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक फॉर एम्ब्रियोलॉजी दैट इज फॉलोड एट एम्स एंड एम्स इज ऑब्सेस विद स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक्स हिस्टोलॉजी के लिए आई थिंक आई अटेंडेड वाइफ सेशन बाय भाटिया एंड दैट वॉज प्रेटी गुड फॉर लास्ट मिनट रिविजन डॉक्टर अश्वनी ऑल्सो टीचर्स हिस्टोलॉजी वेरी वेल डूइंग इफ टी एन डी एंड ही हैज़ अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर्स रिगार्डिंग हिस्टोलॉजी ऑन इज यूट्यूब चैनल एंड ऑल्सो योर कॉलेज स्लाइड ऑफ हिस्टोलॉजी आई थिंक इफ यू जस्ट रिवाइज दैम बिफोर एग्जाम दैट वुड सफाइज सो इन नट शेल योर फर्स्ट रेडिंग ऑफ नैट मी शुड बी डन इन फिफ्टीन डेज फर्स्ट रिविजन should uh, get over by 5 6 days and your final revision which you should do should uh, be done in around one day so uh, as for this like sums up your anatomy preparation and i hope this video was useful to you and if you have any uh, doubts you can put them in the comment section and uh, all the best